हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट एन ऑटोमोबाइल हैविंग अ मास ऑफ 2 मेगा ग्राम ट्रैवल्स अप ए 7 डिग्री स्लोप एट अ कांस्टेंट स्पीड ऑफ v इक्वल्स टू 100 किलोमीटर पर आवर सो द मास ऑफ द कार इज 2 इनटू 10 रेस्ट टू द पावर 6 grams and if we convert it into kgs then we know that 1 kg equals to 10 raised to the power 3 grams so this 10 raised to the power 6 will reduce to 10 raised to the power 3 so the mass will be equal to 2 into 10 raised to the power 3 kgs or we can say that this is 2000 kgs and further it is said that it is moving with a constant speed of v equals to 100 km per hour so if you want to convert the units into meter per second so 1 km is equal to 1000 meters and 1 hour oh, sorry we have to write that uh, 1 km is equal to 1000 meter and 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds so 100 multiply by 1000 divided by 3600 so this gives us 27.78 27.78 meter per second is the velocity when the car is moving up the incline and it is said that if mechanical friction and wind resistance are neglected determine the power developed by the engine if the automobile has an efficiency of this so we have to find the input power the power developed by the engine so that is power input so power in and the efficiency of the car is given which is 0.65 so now as we know that the power out will be equal to the dot product of the force and the velocity so we can find the applied force right so the car engine is going to apply the force in this direction that is in the direction of the motion in the direction of the velocity and the surface is going to apply the net resultant force on the tires and the weight is going to act vertically downward so this is the weight and if i extend the line of action of this normal right so this weight is going to make this 7 degree angle here this n is perpendicular with the inclined surface and this weight is perpendicular with the horizontal so the angle between the inclined surface and the horizontal is 70 degrees so the angle between the weight and the normal is uh, the line of action of the normal is 7 degrees so now this is that force f if we resolve this weight into its component so this one will be the cos component this is w cos of 7 degrees and it will have one component should be w sin of 7 degrees so now if we apply the summation of the forces along the let's say if this is my positive x and y direction So now if I apply the summation of forces along the x so that will be equal to m a x and as we can see that this f force is acting in the positive x direction and the sine component of the weight is acting in the negative x direction so this is minus w sine of 7 degrees and this is equal to m a x so mass is 2000 kg and a x so is we know that the car is moving with a constant speed there is no change in the magnitude of the velocity so if there is no change in the magnitude of the velocity the acceleration in the x direction is zero so we are given indirectly that ax is equal to zero so now when ax is equal to zero this whole term will be equal to zero so we can say that the f minus the sine component of the weight is equal to zero or we can say that f is equal to w sine of 7 degrees So now we can find the output power that is the f times v so f is w sin of 7 degrees and we know that the w is mass times g let me write that this w this is mass is 
into 9.81 sine of 7 degrees. So, this is 2000 into 9.81 sine of 7 degrees into velocity. So, velocity is 27.78. 2000 into 9.81 into sine of 7 into 27.78. So, this is 66,424. 66,424 and this will be in watts. So, as we know that the efficiency is always equal to the power output divided by power input. So, power input, since we want to find the power input, so power input is equal to power output divided by the efficiency and we know the power output, this is 66,424 divided by the efficiency which is 0 0.65. So, we have to divide that answer by that efficiency 0 0.65. So, this gives us uh, 100, 102,190. So, let me write that this is 102,190.9. So, it is approximately uh, 102,191, let us see. Or we can say that this is 102.2. 2 kilowatt. So, this is the input power of the engine which was required. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and like this video if you people want me to solve all these problems from Hibler Dynamics.